Hey everybody. How you doing? Lazarus here. It's it's been like two or three minutes, you know, since the end of the last episode. I wanted to see somebody else do that. Uh, the only video I could find had somebody with way like max HP. They had max HP doing this. I don't it makes me wonder, like, am I supposed to have max HP for this? Apparently this is not the most important thing in the world to be doing right now. So maybe not, but at the same time. It, he only he only had to score two hits, but for the love of God, it took a while for to get those hits, because it is just stacked against you all the way. So yeah, all he has to do is hit the wall, and the brick falls through. And then he doesn't get hit. And you're always in a bad spot. you got to constantly be mirroring where he is. So that way you can you can duck him if he's on the same plant, same layer as you, but you gotta follow him side to side, and that's about it. So I mean, cow dropping is still gonna be a good defense. position. So when I got him once, if we can get him twice, that might be enough to kill him. I think he only takes two hits. He maybe he only takes one hit normally, and he only got hit twice in hard mode. I mean, I've got a little bit better of a feel for it, but I'm still not matching him on the same platform. Man. We might be substantially underpowered for this. This may not be what needs to happen. I don't I don't remember what you get. I did not look at what you get for it. Could you please fuck me? Alright, like I need to waste HP on you fucking three-eyed cookie monster bullshit ass. What else? Not gonna try this too many more times, just seeing how much HP the, the, the sample playthrough of this boss had. I gotta keep this thing awake, otherwise my laptop falls asleep. And it's gonna be kind of annoying to enter the password and then off to the side. I don't agree with the fact that it go literally clips right through him if he's on the same plane as you. Like, oh no, you gotta drop it, even though it very clearly went flying right through his hitbox. No, it's not. It doesn't count. Anymore. You could bet if it was sliding into you, it would count as a hit. Consistently getting one hit. I gotta play a better defensive game on that middle platform. That's the key. I mean, taking the taking the couch drop hit's definitely helpful. I'm never in the right place to actually score the fucking hit on him. I hope to Christ it really is only two hits. Like maybe he normally takes one, and just figuring it out is the hard part. Scoring two hits is a fucking bitch.
course, of course. No, no it's it's got to be it's got to be bullshit. I can't believe it's not bullshit. Oh wait, it, it is. It is actually bullshit. That was bullshit. All right, this is not making for good. This is the last attempt. You know, the last attempt until the next one. I would like to score two hits on in a single run, and then just see if that's enough or if he's going to take more than that. But yeah, we're clearly at a big disadvantage, because his hits do so much damage to us. So, I mean, you're constantly trying to manage where the Caltrops are, so you can damage Bruce throw it. And, like, occasionally you just get hit with bullshit, and then fucking blocks hit you on the top floor. He's trying to wind up a shot. It's just a fucking pain in the dick, man. This is probably one of the hardest mini-bosses I've seen so far, including both games. to go, so I mean, I guess the other place we can go is that other weird path. It might just be important to wait until we have HP, but I really want to see what's behind that seal. I don't know where else to go. So, I'm definitely getting kind of hung up on this now. It's not great. It's also not making for the great best video, and it's certainly it's stymieing my efforts of good conversation here, because it's just pissing the fuck off to no end. We'll wake the laptop up here. We just keep that shit going on. So, I mean, I don't... I just, I'm not convinced that, like, you know, cow dropping is bad. I think we need to hang out on that middle platform. And you can duck as long as you're on the right side of him. If you're on, as long as you're on the side he is. matter if you push his face, that doesn't count. Alright, fine. One more. I'm just not getting it, man. Other than the fact that it's pure bullshit. It might just be just too under level for this ring. Just don't have enough HP. Don't have enough defense. Maybe something else would happen. Like an actual functional fucking shield. I doubt you can walk it. I would like just, you know, lamp of time his ass. And just fucking drop the blocks on that. You probably couldn't move the you probably can't push the blocks to land. You probably can't lamp of time, because then the blocks wouldn't move, huh? Mm. Yeah, I'm getting real quiet now. That's not that's not good good streaming. so good. I can't... Do they always come down in the same spot, or they're like offsets? Because I had a, a visual sort of understanding of where the middle column was. Maybe they're random. It doesn't matter. Maybe you just can't be on the top row, and the top row is just bad. Or you need to be at one of its edges. 
I mean, we're gonna, okay, fine. We're, we're gonna do this. This is going to happen. It's basically what it is. If I have to off camera some attempts, that's how it's gonna be. I would definitely like to not do this. Yeah, we might just flip this thing and try to go somewhere else. I really want the item that's in there. It could be the axe. It could be a whip upgrade. Because this is a real pain in the dick. So there's the idea of it being a weapon, definitely not out of the ordinary. And that would be super helpful. Especially the axe. You know what would also be great? Double jump. Probably be pretty damn helpful. It's going to take more than two. Alright, there's no way we can do it now. That was two hits. Fine, let's go to that other Dark Lord's Mausoleum and try and do something there. It's just too much damage right now for having this little HP. And there may be um, damage reduction too. Because in the video, the guy was definitely wearing a costume. I don't know if it was like a cosmetic thing. Or if it's like damage real. It looked like armor. Sorry, let's rotate. Fuck you, fucking monster, okay? I'm sick of goddamn bullshit. Definitely feeling real irritable after that shit. So flip this. Where does this bring us? I kind of want to go back to Dark Lord's Mouse. I'm not going that way. We're not going back if we do. Yeah, this is going to be straight up and down. Yeah, so the corridor does what the sign on the, the pointer on the top of the door is saying. How many of these are there? Hmm. One more, I think, does it? And that allows us to get there. Yeah, I think this is the one that's going to go back to Dark Lord's Mausoleum, which we should try and make some headway in there, maybe get a grail point. I don't even know if this is on the front or back side now. Like, this is confusing. And the fact that it doesn't show the map even when we have it, who knows. Okay, fine. Yep. Okay, Pace of the Dark Lord is summoned by Mantra, summoned to where the pyramid is held aloft. Oh, come on. Oh, you can't even fight this fucking dude without fucking eyeball bullshit. Oh, we can't even hit those. Isn't that nice? A large ball of dung. Uh, let's read this. Shredda Yuga, the age of silver, when virtue declined and people came to lean on silver. Doesn't mean a damn thing. Pyramid? This is a pyramid. Is this a hole? Yes. Uh, huh. You can see the stairwell there. Oh, the dung ball killer. Well, that's nice. Down the door. Fuck you with your Anubis bullshit, okay? No. What's in this door? What do we got here? Fat stacks and nothing. Okay, great. Very helpful. Sweet. Now let's go read the tab. Let's first read this. Dark Lord's Pyramid is a means of attaining the power of the sky. Only those who have acquired the Dark Lord's power are prepared to enter. Okay. 
of those. and such for that wind down at some point but I want one more piece of progress here yeah of course you're gonna just be that guy here mister I take your fucking damage uh, can I have a look at the dead or something that'd be nice that'd be fine. hey whoa there's a uh, what the fucking bullshit get out of here alright we'll take the stairs what are these stairs doing Okay, I mean, this is a room. There's a switch in it. There's a thing to read. Power left by the sky people is hidden amid an ancient chaos, which they have a zone. <coughs> is the manifestation of the power that will destroy Iguana. Uh, yep. Okay, we pop the gate. I mean, 
rail tablet. A rail tablet. I don't want to fall. What if, if that thing's a fucking... Dark Lord's Mausoleum. The land of they who plotted... Who plotted a path to the sky alongside the path of rebellion. The sixth child of the elf here. And we have unlocked that now. So we can now... Is this gonna, yeah, I figured so much. Oh, it's a great big hole. I don't like Death Chicken here. He's kind of pissing me. Death Chicken is bad news. Obtain the crystal that seals a pyramid. Then all the hidden, all, all hidden in this land shall be revealed. The truth of the pyramid will be exposed. So crystal, something pyramid. Fuck that goddamn pyramid. I hate that. I hate that pyramid. Dark Lord could the Dark Lord could harness storms. Ooh. I mean we need it's, I think we, it's clear what we need to do. Freaking 12 HP, it's clear what we need to do. Not piss off that stupid eye, that's for damn sure. Okay, so we have popped the chest. Let's get in that. Let's get in that shit. We got the map. Heaven and Earth. All right, you know we got the map. All right, this is backside, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a short video. Hmm. Let's do a little bit more. A little bit more. You know, for the purposes of YouTube, I spent way too much time trying to grind that fucking boss. I may have, may or may not do it. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna try it again without more HP. Knowing full well that like two wasn't enough, it's probably two on normal and three on normal. So we can go back there now. Though. We can go right to the mausoleum. That's kind of cool because this seems to be the hot button zone of, of right now. Where am I? I don't go all the way down there. I don't. Alright, Death Chicken, please. Calm it, calm it down to shade, could you? Also, I kind of want to know, like, is there a way to kill these stupid skeletons? They sure do piss me off a little bit. Hey, it's one of those soul game things. That is, you don't have enough, you don't have enough souls active to, to activate it. It's there. Or no, no, this is the lamp of time. This is the lamp of time chart. Let's go this way. Okay. Peak of the Dark Lord's Pyramid lies. Ben Ben stone. At the throne where the recognized Lord of the Dark Star is permitted to sit. The Lord with Heaven's mandate will arrive at Nibiru. And Sky says, Oh, not this fucking Nibiru end of the universe bullshit, end of the world bullshit. It's not a that's not a thing. Okay, we, we don't want also we don't want to take a smoke. That's that's what they want. That's what they want us to do. Oh yeah. Go in here. We haven't gone in here. Hey, it's, it's set. What are you doing back? What are you? A clump of clay trying to pass itself off as a living being, it seems. We, Amana, Amar, yeah, Amarna, of the fifth children, were the first race to defy the mother's power. Whatever has transpired, I can no longer feel the mother's power. Our beloved Ra shall rule over this world. Okay. 
Sounds great. You have, you have a good time with that. You know, whatever works for you, there's something. Whatever's good for you. I don't need that. I don't know if there's going to be anything over here that I'm using to get up on this platform itself. No, there isn't. It's just a way to go. Let's go up here. Yeah, this brings us behind. Cozy research papers acquired. We're in some kind of room that looks like it's some kind of important. Also, that fucking dickly chicken here is gonna get out. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What's this? The power of the feather held by the Dark Lord. It has the power to reach ever double jump, dude. It will pass to those who can harness the power of storms and clear the corridor. This is this room has double jump. This is Thunder Altar. This is where you get double jump. Gaze up at heaven from this place, then hidden relics shall be yours. You know, fuck you, game, okay? I did what you told me. Okay, maybe we just, I mean maybe we need to look from the other direction. I mean, that was a pretty dick move there. Saying specifically do this and then it kills you for doing it. Not cool. But also, I, mean, I would like to have another look see in that room. I mean, double jump would be amazing. That, that would be like... That's progress beyond progress right there. I don't expect to get double jump right now. Oh, the stupid beetle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death chicken. It's all about this fucking skeleton man. It's all about Skelly Bro. There's no one's bro. Alright, so we're in there. I mean, we still have set in our guide, right? If no, uh, yeah, anything we did there was not presumably, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Feather, held by the Dark Lord, power to return to Rear Hats, and will pass to those who harness the power of storm to be in the corridor. Huh. I mean, the chest is popped, but like, fuck. Like, it, I mean, look, hey, it looks like you really need the feather to get there. There's no way we're getting there without a commentary. So whatever that is, maybe it's back at the pyramid, maybe I do something there. I suppose we do one more little look-see. One more look-see, yeah. And then we'll call an episode. Well, you know, the, the, the saltiness is, is cleared from that fucking bullshit place. Fucking asinine. Asininitude. Asininity. Ass. Ass tacking. Ass. Just, just ass. Turn the fucking egg, egg video game. Every, every other word is just ass. Hey, I mean, he was a major inspiration for countless YouTubers. So, yeah, I mean, let's. I mean, I suppose we could, read, we could read the thing. Reading the thing is a possibility. That brings us back up to here. Read this. The Eternal Prison. The Underworld. A land that is part doom and part gloom. Doom, doom that will destroy even flame. Is a land too hostile to bear for a flame bearer. A very Dark Soulsian world. I mean, this is bad, right? Of course it is. Who would think anything else? So, what else? <coughs> Maybe if I can get this thing to come down? That stupid crystal thing. Yeah, the two of those stupid crystal things need to get the fuck out of the way. Then maybe, just maybe. So what I want to do is grab on this as high as possible. Then maybe. Maybe I can flip myself over. Because there is a switch. There's a switch on the uppermost platform. And this is taller than this. Okay, let's put this. Show the fuck out. Okay, we got another Onkjul. Yippy shit, now I've got two. I don't really want to be fighting any bosses. I mean, that's something. I, I don't get that. I know that dropping down there is bad. I've already done that. Oh, 
Well, I mean, it gives us something to chew on. You see, you see what I'm saying? We're down there. There's a bottom path that can get us to the lower part of that room. Maybe that's where we need to go next time. I don't know. It's good to be back into it. I feel my bearings on straight here. Uh, next session, aiming for, will be Thursday. I do need to process videos tonight, tomorrow night, and I need to actually be doing work to get AOTT2 up and running and get that shit squared away. It's, you know, it's, can't let the responsibilities conflict, though, because, you know, I'll get bogged down with the work, and it's just it's discouraging. It slows you down, and I'm not doing this, which is the actual having fun and enjoying the effort, so that's that. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching have supported me in spite of my general apathy and lack of follow-through, I will try to do that because, man, that's motivation right there. People care, but shit's happening, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.